not the whole amount is going to be in your account so okay. your first major expense is rent that you have to manage so if you sum up all the amounts that we have talked about then it will be so hi everyone once again welcome back to pc vlogs so for those of you who are new here on my channel my name is Prem Chauhan and I make videos regarding student life in Canada so in today's video we are going to discuss about the earning that you can do as an international student and the expenses that you have to manage from that earning so this video is particularly for the second year of your course because in the second year you don't have any GIC so you have to manage your all expenses from the money that you have earned from the part-time job so without wasting any further time let's get started with this video first let's start with the earning that you can do as an international student you might be aware that as an international student you can work only 20 hours a week and uh, if you are working on campus then there is no limit so in this scenario i'm just considering you get a normal job at any restaurant or any factory or in your area wherever you are working minimum wage is right now in ontario is 15.35 dollar so i'm assuming that you get a part-time job and your salary is around 15.35 dollar and you are working like 20 hours a week so that will be around 307 dollar a week and if you multiply it by four weeks then it will be around 1228 dollar a month not the whole amount is going to be in your account so there will be tax deducted from your salary according to me as far as i know the tax will be around like six or seven percent if you are working part-time so around assume that 75 or 73 dollar will be the tax so after deducting that amount it will be around 11.55 dollar a month that you are going to get in your account so for just basic understanding or to make the purpose clear of this video let's assume it will be around 1100 dollar a month this depends upon where you are working as a part-time employee so i generally work at team hortons as a supervisor so my salary a little bit high but not that much is around 1.35 dollar more than the normal minimum wage so my monthly earning would be around approximately 1200 something and it wouldn't make that much difference because in part time you wouldn't get that much high salary so now let's talk about the second thing that is expense as an international student so your first major expense is rent that you have to manage over here so let's consider a situation if you are living in area like kitchener or waterloo in ontario the rent will be depend upon where you are living like if you go to toronto or crowded places then it will be much higher so let's consider that your rent per month is around 400 dollar in salary and that includes all the things like wi-fi utility hydro and everything so generally if you are living in sharing it would be around 400 dollar and if you are taking a private room then it will be based upon how much convenient you want but i have seen the private room is around like 700 to 800 dollar or it can go up to 900 as well so that is the major expense the second thing is grocery so on an average i spend on grocery around 200 dollar a month it can go up to like 250 sometime or sometimes i save generally 170 or 150 as well it depends upon what are the things you are eating and i do grocery sharing with my roommate so it will save a lot of money for me as well the third thing that is the transportation so generally i purchase a bus pass over here in kitchen of waterloo that cost me around 90 dollar a month and i can use it unlimited times the fourth thing is the phone bill i pay i am using fido at the moment and my plan is around like 60 dollar a month it's 55 but to make the calculation normal let's assume it's 60 dollar a month and in that i'm getting like uh, 12 or 15 gb of data and uh, 1000 international minutes and unlimited uh, canada wide talking and free sms as well in canada and apart from that let's assume you are going to coffee shop or you had dinner outside and that all uh, things will add up around 50 or 60 dollar in your monthly expensive even though i don't like go very often outside to eat or something but i think it will be around 50 60 dollar because if you are going for a coffee then it will cost you two three dollars and if you are going like once in a day maybe and then it will cost you around 50 or 60 dollar so if you sum up all the amounts that we have talked about then it will be 800 dollar a month approximately again i'm telling that this expenses will be based on my scenario and my experience some people i have seen uh, whose rent is much more and some people i have seen whose rent is much low so it depends upon which area you are going and which college you are studying and how you are managing the money so if you are in your second year 
when you are don't have any GIC because GIC is almost like 12 months in first month you will get around two thousand dollar from your GIC and after that onwards you will get six seventy something dollar monthly and after 12 months you wouldn't get any money from your GIC because it will be empty so in your second year you if you are ma have to manage your fees then your earning would be around eleven hundred or twelve hundred approximately and your expenses will be around eight hundred dollar so if you calculate like practically then you can save up to around four hundred dollar or five hundred if you are managing very seriously i don't think you can manage uh, or save more money because that is the basically calculation that we have done right now and it's the minimum expenses that we have considered you might can spend more on going outside or dinner or lunch but it will be the basic that we have talked about if i talk about myself uh, personally then i save around like 400 or 450 dollar a month if you are working on campus then that is a lot of more opportunities for you you can make like instead of this 1100 you can go up to like 2200 as well so you can save a lot of money if you are working on campus and off campus as well so that's everything for today's video i hope you guys like the video and if you guys like the video then hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel i will keep posting much more videos like this and see you in the next vlog